Hello, welcome to another Siler Instrument Quick Tip. I'm Holly Urbain from Siler Geospatial Wisconsin, and today we're going to talk about the CAD toolbar when you're in the measure mode. When you tap the vertical ellipsis and turn on the CAD toolbar, if you're not measuring, it comes up in the drawing mode. We recently did a video on using the CAD toolbar drawing mode, but if you go to measure points, I'm going to use measure codes, this toolbar lights up with a lot more icons. If I click and hold on any one of the icons, you can see there's a full list of 15 different icons. These are the control codes to control the line work that you're collecting. First time you use the Measure CAD toolbar, you're going to want to customize the icons that appear when you're using it. If I click and hold on any of the icons, it'll tell you what that icon means. Start Join Seat, Start Tangential Arc, End Tangential Arc. I use those three a lot, so I'm going to keep those. Another one that I use more often, instead of a non-tangential arc, I use a smooth arc. So I'll use the Start Smooth Arc and End Smooth Arc. Instead of a three-sided rectangle, the End Join Sequence and the Offset. Now that I've customized the eight control codes that I see on the Measure CAD toolbar, at any time I can click and hold any of them and pick and choose the other seven, which I don't use all that often, so I don't need them to be active. I'm using a TSC-7 emulator for this video. If you're using a TSC-5 or a smaller screen, you just hit the arrow at the bottom of the icons and you'll see the rest of the icons that are available for the CAD toolbar measure mode. In a previous video, we talked about the 12th man, combining multiple codes together. Using the measure CAD toolbar takes it to the next level. If I say start a join sequence, and I have the sidewalk chain highlighted, you can see that it actually took the chain and added the control code to start a chain. As soon as I measure this point, observation stored. It started the chain. If I take the next point, observation stored. You can see it connected the dot. Observation stored. Observation stored. If you want to gap in a chain, simply start the chain again. If I do start chain, measure this sidewalk. Observation stored observation stored. You can see it inserted a gap. You don't have to do an end as long as you do a start. It will assume the previous shot was the end command. Now we get into where it starts to be fun. We're going to get into some curves. This is a sidewalk and I'm going to assume they're non-tangential. I'm just going to say it's a smooth curve. So if I use the smooth curve command and I take a sidewalk shot. Observation stored. observation stored. Now if I turn off the background imagery, you can see we have a straight chain, a gap, we have a curve best fitting through all of these points that we shot on the sidewalk. Using the CAD toolbar in the measure mode lets you easily add control codes for 15 different control codes while you're doing your topo and graphically see the information on the screen. Keep an eye out for more Siler Instrument quick tips on the Measure CAD toolbar, including things like horizontal and vertical offsetting, three-point circles, rectangles, and other features built into the CAD toolbar measure tool. Thanks for watching another Siler Instrument quick tip.